Sean, you're not in your racing overalls. Big issues on stage two. Talk us through what happened. Yeah, you know, it was tough as that we uh, just had an eruption of fire at the front of the car and we didn't know why for a long time. You know, the team took the car apart today and was able to figure out what happened. It looks like we had a stone strike and we uh, uh, had a stone in the engine compartment that hit one of the lines for the, the gearbox. And so yeah, we had an oil fire in the front of the car, too much damage to repair. So yeah, we're absolutely gutted because, you know, Alex and I in that first stage, we set our first uh, top three stage time in the WRC3. Uh, not even pushing, you know, just a nice, comfortable drive, um, trying to be conservative because we know this is such a tough rally that you just need to survive and get through it. So, um, yeah, Estonia, we weren't happy with the performance, but we're happy with the results. Here, we're happy with the, the, the performance, but, yeah, devastated with the results. But, you know, that's, that's rallying, that's life. So we have a lot of positives to take away, and we have a good set of notes for next year when we come back. You are always a positive person, but talk us through just that moment where you realized there was a fire, the car was on fire. How does it feel? What are the emotions like? How did you deal with the fire? Yeah, the engineer is actually quite happy with us that from the, yeah, the fire to the car stopped, engine off was less than five seconds, and then you get out and you try to manage the situation. So, you know, we used our fire extinguisher, used our camelbacks, I ran up to the junction, got a bottle of water from the, the marshal, and then we waved down uh, the next car and used his uh, fire extinguisher as well, which is what ultimately got the car, um, you know, which, which controlled the fire so that it was totally done. So uh, we're very, very grateful that the entire car didn't go up in flames, that it's uh, just the front end. You know, the engine compartment needs to be completely redone. Everything's smoked in there. But um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's high stress, it's high intensity, but you know, we're, we're rally drivers, we, we train for this. And, uh, and so you just respond to the moment. So. Um, not the kind of excitement that we wanted to have here in our first uh, time at Rally Turkey, but uh, we've been grateful to be here. It's been a great atmosphere. The stages were gorgeous, and we just really, really wish we could have done more of it. Yeah, really bad luck, Sean. And listen, it does sound as if there is some work to do on that car. Not too long until Sardinia. Will it be ready for then? Oh, for sure. That's one of the things is that working with a team like Santalak Racing is that we have full faith and commitment in them that they'll be able to sort out a, a solution to get us a running car for Sardinia. And we can't wait to get back out there.